I never could get enough black and white papers. Welcome back, friends. So today we're going to do black and white, but of course we're going to also mix in some black and white together and come up with some very, I'm hoping, very light grays. And then um, we're going to use both deli paper and rice paper, and we're hopefully going to get some fun results. Let's get to it. So on that very first layer, and I'm going to, I'm going to register the paper off here on the side. Let me get this a little closer over here so we can we'll be able to see the register over here <clears throat> what I mean by registering I should mention this every time because I get this question a lot is we're going to tape the paper down so every time we lay the paper down we're going to have the paper registered that's a printing term to the previous layer so that we're always like hitting the same spot on the paper um, with smaller, like with an eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10, eight and a half by 11, it's pretty easy to get it almost in exactly the same spot every time. But when you're using a nine by nine by 12 or nine by 13, um, rice paper with an eight by 10, uh, you never get it right. And sometimes that's okay because if you're only using it for collage paper, but if you're making a composition on your plate, you want to register. Now we're not exactly going for composition, but I still want to get as close to registration as I can. So we're going to start with a little bit of gray. Let me clean off my bottle first. Put some white down with just a touch of black. Hopefully that's what happened to my brayer. <laughs> Okay, it's over here. So let's mix it up. It's a little darker than I wanted. Mm, a lot darker than I wanted. All right, let's go with it anyway. We live and we learn. Next time, next sheet, we will go lighter. So maybe what I'll do is instead of doing the circles on this one, I will find a finer pattern. Not fine enough. Do something like this. And we're going to pick up through the holes. And we're going to register over here. I did not lay the paper down carefully. I was working fast because I knew my paint was drying. All right, so now let me get some tape. We're gonna tape down over here. So we got very little on the other side. dried too fast. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up with some white. Because we're going to go for two types of papers. Our second paper, I'm going to register to the back because I don't have any, any width here. And while this is still wet, we need to pick this up. Actually, what I might do is not do another layer on this. Let's just see how this looks. So 
So we have some very, very dark areas and we have some lighter areas. So I'm just going to leave this one as it is. Okay, now on this other one that we pulled, the side that had this stencil didn't pick up much, but it picked up a little. And it actually might allow us to have like a nicer interest there. So I'm going to put more white down this time and just a drop. Mm. Ah! <laughs> Too much came out. I was trying to just get a drop. So let me get a knife and pull that out. I hate to waste paint. Let's see if we can get most of this out. Maybe save it for the next one. Because I want this to be a light, light gray. This time we're laying this one down. And notice we're not waiting to dry in between because these are single layers that we're doing. We must pull them up when they're still wet. And the last layer is going to be black. so frustrating that the paper because it's taped to the table is out of camera but anyway you will see it at the end okay I'm gonna try to pick this up with just black I'm doing a very light coat I'm hoping that we can actually get some transparency through it. Just trying to pick up the ghost and still have black papers, neutral papers. Oh, that came out really good. And the amazing thing is it picked up the previous images that I had from before that I was not picking up with other paper. So you can see deli paper really does amazing pickups. Really like the way that came out. So now we're going to put down some black. A little bit heavier this time. And I'm going to try to get some really good ghosts. Oops. So I'm going to pick up a round with some deli paper. I'm not going to, I'm going to press more on the edges and not on the actual stencils so that it doesn't pick up all of the, I don't want the stencil itself. I want it to have a nice black ghost, a dark ghost. I do have a great pickup sheet. So 
So now we're going to lay this paper down again. Hopefully we're going to get a nice dark shape. And I would like to pick up again with this. So on one of the other, we'll do something finer on top of this, maybe a gray. I find that I never have enough black and white. And I definitely don't have anything with gray. So this would introduce different papers to my stash. I think we're going in the right direction. I wish I didn't have that dark gray in the back. I like this side that is has you know less detail. I'm going to try to do another one like this. With, the, with only light grays. So we have to be really careful not to put down a lot of black. Let me see if I can grab that black. Boy. It's still too dark. Okay, I'm going to use this on that pickup sheet that I just completed. We're going to do something light with that. So we're going to take those same stencils that we had before. We're going to put it over this. So I'm just like intuitively working. I'm not, I didn't have much of a plan. Uh, because I find that sometimes when you plan with the jelly plate, you only get disappointed. So tell me if that's been your experience. Um, I like to just go for it, see what happens. Pick a color palette, pick some stencils, change my mind. Now this is fun. Oh my goodness, yes. See? Oh my god, this side is absolutely a lot of fun. But this side too, I love... Yeah, I love this area right here. It's a lot of fun. Picture that on top of something colorful. That is going to be fantastic. But I just, I love this side. So you see what I'm saying? Now we have to pick this up. Um, you know, just... Follow your instincts when you're doing this and uh, play. All right, I'm just going to pick this up with some white. Let's make a ghost. Oops, I got some white on my brayer. That might be a good thing. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna lay this on a diagonal. And I'm going to pick up with, again, deli paper. I know I'm getting very repetitive with my deli paper. Again, I'm not going to press down on the, on this, the mask because it will then lift 
the paint. So I'm just going to press down in the areas, in the little openings, to make sure I get a clean pickup here, leaving me with a nice black shape that is hopefully, hopefully dark. There's another section right here that didn't get cleaned up. You see how good the deli paper picks up? Okay. And you have to kind of work fast because you don't want that paint to dry. Okay, I think it's too busy. All right, so if I'm going to start again, I'm going to start with a black this time. Okay, I'm going to lay down our stencils, I mean our masks. And this time I'm going to use rice paper. So I'm not trying to go for the ghost this time. So I'm really going to rub this time because I want to get a good imprint <clears throat> with the rice paper, which is a little harder to do. I want to really get into those corners. And I don't care if it leaves good ghost. probably be a faint ghost and maybe that will at least demonstrate to you why I say when you're trying to get a dark ghost don't rub so much. Let me register. Sorry if I'm coughing a lot today. Try to cut out most of it. Okay. That's not bad. So see, our ghost is a lot lighter because I was really pressing. But I'm going to pick this up with something. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some white. Really thin. It's coming out kind of gray. <clears throat> I'm going to pick this up with the deli paper. Wow. See? I love it. Okay, now I want, a, again, a really light. So you know what? I might have enough black on my brayer <coughs> or enough gray to get me that really light gray that I wanted. Yeah. Kind of a light, lighter gray. I still have some marker stuff here, so I'm kind of liking what's happening here with a, with a little bit more. I was, oh no. So if you keep ro rubbing over the same area, that happens. But I was trying to mix and get my gray. Okay, I like the different shades here that we're getting, so I'm gonna go very lightly. All right. 
put this down. So one other time I picked up with black and it came out really cool. So I'm going to do that again. With the rice, uh, not rice paper, um, deli paper. But I might lay down another stencil first. Or let's try this. I'm going to do some overlaying here. So we get odd shapes this way, even otter shapes. <laughs> Okay, that is going to be great collage paper. I especially like what's happening down here. I could see that at the bottom of one of my pages for sure. I like the way that came out. Never thought to do that before. Okay, so let's see what we're left with on the plate. Wow, that's fun. All right, I still can't lay that down on there, so I'm just going to pick this up with white. On a rice paper. Okay, so I'm going to leave some of these blobs that I'm getting because I like that. So sometimes the black paint, I don't know if it's because it's carbon black. If anybody knows, please let me know. Um, I'm going to try another kind of black, like a Mars black or a bone black. Um, the paint reactivates it, and the next thing you know, you've got like a black mess. So sometimes, you know, when I'm this far into a project, I'll switch brayers. I have two, where that blob was, it's a big wet mess right here. But I wanted to keep that blob. Let's see, let's see how this came out. As collage paper goes, it's good because it's got areas like this, areas like this, but I like the deli paper version of this better. And I love what it left on the plate. I'm going to let that dry. But I want to see on this other one, let me just pull it up. On this other one, I don't know if I want to just leave it like this, or if I want to add an even smaller stencil like an even smaller and even lighter, like maybe white. So I have to go look at my um, stencils and see if there's something maybe linear, maybe something with straight lines. And meanwhile, I want to pick this up, so I'm going to let that dry. Okay, I know this is a black and white video, but I want to pick that up. And I'm just going to pick it up in just this section. I'm going to put it, I'm going to overlay it on here. Again, I'm thinking collage. A 
Ooh, nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can pick up the rest of it. Okay. That is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, okay, so we're, the next one's probably going to have a little pop of color in it. <laughs> unintentional but all right so I'm gonna do just white and I'm gonna switch brayers because I don't want this mess to get into here okay okay I still got a little bit of yellow but that's okay Okay, so I found these two linear ones. I think I'm going to go in this direction. You know what? I'm going to lay this one down first. This will be my bigger. Oh, it's crooked. Never do things with just one hand. Okay, so now I have to try to line this up again. That is a lot of fun. So you can see through the white. I think we have a lot of great. I don't know. Does that hurt your eyes? <laughs> I think it's fun. Okay, so let's pick this up now. I'm just going to pick this up some jelly paper because it will clean the plate nicely, I think. So just as another thought while we're waiting for this to dry a little bit, notice how the yellow, this Hansa yellow over the black takes on some green properties. I mean, they look, it looks like it's a yellow green. So I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, let's see how much this picked up. A lot of it. So here's my first the first one that got me really excited i just absolutely love this the um initial sheet that i that i created which was this one was just like a mess you know maybe a piece of this can be used for collage but anyway it didn't excite me at all but then i laid it on top of the deli paper and wow well, so this I really love, and I'm, I know for sure I'm going to use this. So then the other one that really excited me um, was this one. So I had laid, what did I do with that? I, I think it must have been this one. I laid down the circles, and then I picked up with black. I picked up the ghost, and it picked up these, these swirly lines from previous work that I did with a Sharpie that you could not even see on the plate. You couldn't even see it. And this is from multiple times of drawing with a Sharpie on the plate. And it came through. And it is so subtle, but it is, it's fantastic. For collage paper, it is fantastic. Then I have this one, which has areas that I like. Definitely this is very successful this is a little overpowering i know but this isn't supposed to be a finished composition this is collage paper so i'm thinking in terms of sections intersections and what i like i like the really lightness of here this area here really excites me a lot even this section here and a lot of these intersections this was too busy but again, there are pieces of this that I could use. I'm always looking for black elements to add to a collage. A lot of times my go-to is to just go to the deli papers. This one isn't a transparent deli paper, but it will still be a really good one. 
you know, I love this shape, like right in here, like that would be great in a collage. But this has got to be my favorite. So this section right here, overlaid on super colorful papers, I think is going to be very exciting. Probably every area of this could be, you know, I could even just cut out an air, this section here or this section here and add it to a collage. But anyway, it's, um, but this part down here where I overlaid the um, masks, I got a surprise. And again, mm, notice how well that ghost picked up on the deli paper. I love how this was left on a plate and how I picked it up here. Now this one, except for this area here, I don't think I like any of it, but, uh, but that's me. And this one I'm very happy with. I think um, the different shades, I love how you can see through the white, but that we have this little this little white line that goes through each one. You know, we've got the shades of gray and the black. And this is a nice sheet that if you can see, I could use in a collage and have it see through. So don't just think of black on a deli paper, white, white works as well, any color really. And then my bonus paper is this one. <laughs> this section right here, this is my bonus. But you know, other, other sections that have the yellow peeking through the transparent part, going to a greenish color, um, are also going to be, uh, I, I know that my eye is going to go to that when I'm working on a collage. I'm going to want to overlay that somewhere. But this on its own is, is a gem. So I ended up using this paper in a collage recently, and you can find that video on Patreon. I hope you will join me over there. The link is down below. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this session. I know I did. So I went with my intuition on some of these things and amazing things happened that I didn't think would work, but they worked. So go for it. Follow your intuition. And don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.